Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how I created this double exposure effect image that you can see here using Adobe Photoshop. Okay, let's do it. All right, I'll open the image in Photoshop. Now, I need to make a selection of the model. So I'll go and select the Select and Mask tool and I'll make a quick selection of the model portrait. Just like this. And then, while I'm still here, choose Feather. And I'll put 0.5 Feather in here. And press OK. All right, now I'll select the model image and I'll press Ctrl plus J. And now I have it in a new layer. I'll name it Model. Let me delete this one in here. All right, now, I wanna make the background of this image bigger, so we'll have enough space to create our effect. So I'll go and select the Crop tool, and I'll expand it a little bit from here, and here. And I'll click on this check mark to commit my change. All right, now I'll go to Adjustment in here, and I'll choose solid color. I'll keep the color white for now, and I'll press OK. I'll take it and put under the model layer, and I'll name it BG for background. All right, now I'll select the model layer, and I'll desaturate it. So I'll press Control plus Shift plus U, or you can go to Image, Adjustment, and choose Desaturate. Now I'll go and open the second image I'll be using. I'll take it and open it in a new tab. And I'll drag it to the other tab in here. I'll name it Mountain. And I'll change it, opacity, around 50%. This way, I can see where I want to replace it before I'll start working on it. Now I know that I want these clouds to be in the other direction. So I'll press Control plus T. And then I'll right click and choose Flip Horizon Towel. And now I have the clouds where I want them. Also, I want this top of the mountain to be right in the forehead of the model in here. So I'll press Shift and drag to make the image bigger. And I'll replace the image to fit where I want it. And I'll one click on this check mark and I'll change the opacity back to 100%. Now I'll select the model layer, and I'll press Control and one click on it to load the selection of the model. Now I'll select the mountain layer, and then I'll one click on this layer mask icon. And as you can see, this will create a silhouette of the model. All right, now I'll make a copy of this model layer. So I'll press Alt and make a copy of it and put it on top of the mountain layer. And I'll change it blending mode to lighten and we'll get a cool effect in here. But I'll reduce the opacity of it around 50%. Now I'll apply a layer mask on it. So I'll go and I'll one click on this layer mask icon and I'll select the layer mask in here. And then I'll select the brush tool with a 40% in the opacity. And the black is my foreground color. and I'll start deleting in this area. All right, now I'll select the mountain layer and I'll make sure that I'm on it layer mask. And I'll start deleting in here to reveal the face of the model. All right, now I'll select the background layer and I'll double click on it and I'll sample a color from here. And I'll press OK. Now I'll select the mountain layer and I'll press Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. And then I'll take the layer mask and delete it.
and I'll change it blending to lighten. And as you can see, this will create a cool effect with the clouds, but there are still other part from the image visible. So I'll apply a black layer mask on it by holding Alt and one click on this layer mask icon. Now I'll select my brushes and with white as my foreground color. And I'll start brushing in here to make only this part of the clouds visible. All right, now I'll select this top layer and I'll go to adjustment and choose solid color. And I'll pick a soft pink color and I'll press OK. I'll change the blending mode to multiply. And I'll set the opacity around 20%. Now I'll create a stamp visible layer. So I'll press Alt plus Control plus Shift plus E and I'll desaturate it. So I'll go to Image, Adjustment and choose Desaturate. I'll change the blending mode to soft light. and I'll put down the opacity around 30%. And that's it. So, I hope that you enjoyed and liked this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for watching. See you next video.